All right, so I just got out of the shower and I just brushed my teeth. So I'm gonna do my skincare. Um, I'm doing it in a randomized order. Let me tell you, if you're a family member or a friend, I'm gonna tell you right now, stop the video. Don't watch it. Unless you're ready for my cursing and you're ready for my, I don't know, what do you call it, sassiness? I don't know. Anyways, I just got out the shower right now. So I'm gonna do my skincare, which is like, honestly, it's a mix of random ass stuff. So let's get into it, cause yeah. So I'm gonna be using the order. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna tell you guys how, since I am a, a singer or whatever, I, I'm gonna tell you guys, cause a lot of people wanna know how I got my whistle register or my whistle voice, whatever it's called, whisper, whatever it is, how I got that. And so, I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story. All right, so let's get into it. So what happened was I was sick like that entire week and I felt horrible. My voice had left me. I was voices like <laughs> Ursula really said nah. <laughs> Anyways, so I lost my voice that whole week and I was barely getting it back and I was sick. So, um, you know, we went to the beach and I was talking, I was using my voice, even though I should have shut the heck up and not used my voice. I should have just stayed quiet, you know? But however, if I would have stayed quiet, I probably wouldn't have found out, you know, that I had that higher register. Let me wash my face, bro. Ooh, this water is cold, bro. <laughs> All right. So we had went to the beach and I was already sick and the weather was not it, you know, obviously it's the beach, the weather is cold, there's air and it's just like going on in your face and I was also in the water, I was doing all that extra stuff, having fun because I, come on now, we went to the beach, I'm gonna have fun. And then I had went, we went back home and I was singing a lot, I was experimenting with my voice while being sick, something that you should never do while you're being sick, while you're sick, like don't talk, drink tea. Relax, sleep, you know? The usual, you know, everyone says that honestly, like whenever they're like, whenever, whenever you tell someone like, oh, like something is wrong with my voice or this and that, like what they're gonna tell you is you need some sleep, you need to rest, you know? That's like the key thing is rest. But I didn't, I kept singing and eventually my voice got really airy to the point where like, I mean, it's, I mean, honestly, I feel like that's why my voice is naturally airy, and, but due to that i feel like i found so many like so many parts to my voice i didn't even know that i had like my mixed voice i found it easily because of that and i'd be hitting like really high notes and i have perfect pitch i'm not trying to toot my own horn but i do have perfect pitch so i know what notes i'm hitting and i'm just like damn like that that's crazy i was playing around with my voice and i entered this i used this part of my voice and it was like where i was contracting air but I was pushing it out at the same time and by doing that I started to like sing in this other register and it was weird I was like what is this it's super airy it there's tone in it and it sounds pretty and it's like the range in there was is insane like crazy 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 so then You're like <laughs> and after that I kind of just found it from there but since then like a few months after that it would always come and go so i wasn't always around so i didn't always have my whistle register with me and then i don't know i have like two places where i sing and whistle like there's like that breathy one like i'm gonna give y'all a little a clip of where i did it and then i have another one but it's more but I have one that's more like, there's more tone to it. It sounds more like a like a head, like a full head voice. It doesn't sound airy like that, but it kind of is. But it's, I don't know, it's weird. I'm gonna insert a clip right here of me seeing in that. So then I sang in those registers or whatever. And honestly, it was just weird from there. I started experimenting with my voice. Honestly though, I feel like I did. I would sing a lot in like that whistle register or whatever, 
so by doing that I feel like that kind of dried out my voice through time and that's why my voice sounds so airy and that's why it's easier for me to like reach high notes but like at what cost you know but yeah that's how I found my whistles and for those asking what my highest note ever that I recorded the highest note that I've ever hit in that whistle register like the breathy one was a C sharp 8 and then the highest that I sang in like the other placement that's more like the head voice that's more stronger uh, it was a, an E7 so yeah but that was like my journey into finding like my whistle or my higher voice or whatever honestly I know a lot of people like a lot of people even still tell me you know like how come your voice is so high even little kids, they, they be coming up to me, they be like, why is your voice so high? I'm like, none of your mother business. No, I'm kidding, you I don't say that to them. But I just tell them like, oh, cause I sing a lot. And I feel like what gave me a more higher voice, when I was smaller, I used to always sing in falsetto, always. And I used to go super high in falsetto. Like that was my voice. I didn't know what a chest voice was. Like my speaking voice, I wouldn't sing in that. I would sing in my falsetto. And that's what kind of helped me, you know? Overall though, honestly the best advice I can give to you as a singer and if you want to like find your register, just explore and experiment with your voice. That's the best thing that I can tell you because that's what's honestly helped me. Like just experimenting with my voice, you know, going crazy, taking risks and they pay off because you find different parts of your voice and you extend your range. But also make sure to keep it moderate. Don't be singing all crazy and stuff. Like, you know, I do that sometimes, but don't be doing it all the time. Eventually lead to like vocal damage and other things that are not good. So I think, you know, just keep it moderate. Obviously still explore, you know, and keep singing. That's the best thing, you know. I hope y'all enjoyed this small little YouTube video. I don't usually do this at all, but I want to start doing it, you know, cause I'd be bored as but, um, but yeah, I'd be bored, y'all. So, make sure to leave some comments on what kind of videos I should do, because I'd be bored as oh. fuck. No. But, yeah, anyways, remember to keep singing. Also, I'm going to be doing some more crazier videos, because, you know, I'd be so, so innocent on here. And I want to just show y'all more, you know, more than singing. And stuff obviously i'm gonna keep singing and also i have a new i've been working on some stuff in my studio my little home studio i'm working on some songs and some tracks some collaborations so make sure to be to be make sure to stay tuned for all those things anyways i love you guys so much thank you for watching and you know spending time with me for the time being and i appreciate you and yeah, make sure to stay strong, keep singing, and be the best you can be.